Hello guys, Skullgrim here, bringing you another Test of Dungeon video. Um, this volume seems a bit loud, it might just be my headphones, just a second. There we go, much better. Um, this video is about testing a very specific sort of strategy, which involves both an item and a guard, and let's see how that goes, eh? Try to pick a map which I haven't completed with this class. It is my favorite class, I do believe. So, kind of hard. Curse of is a bit too iffy. So, to shifting passages is kind of like the same. Okay, creep by ruins. Fair enough. Can't remember what he does. I think he revives quite a few times. So, he's a rogue. It's the rogue, and I want the rogue to do a ton of damage. So it could either be the orc or the human. I need it. Oh, I'm gonna try and do this at a fairly low level, but it's gonna be against a high level enemy, so it might be orc, that's better, it might be human. Okay, so the idea is using the liquid guitar, get an enemy to level up. As well as using humility, making myself one level level lower. So that's going to increase the gap by two, just by these items. And if I'm in, if I pull off a high level fight on top of that, then we're gonna have a pretty big gap of levels. Now, not picking a sort of really good elite item or something is gonna make it harder to fight high, high level enemies like Nanda's ward will allow you to survive things you wouldn't usually survive because you don't have enough HP as a rogue for instance but we'll, we'll see how it goes um, let's see at least he has first strike so I can finish the job that's why I picked the rogue um, first strike to thin people off without question but actually dealing damage without prepping this because I need this this to be prepped as well it's gonna be interesting Golden Guardian allows Absolution to be used a ton of times could have been better as a Paladin and then just go and get in, get in there instead of being a rogue but he has a high damage as well and that's slightly cool or crucial okay let's try it four gauntlets that's gonna increase my hp and that's kind of what this guy needs so yeah that's fairly great okay so here is one guardian i'm gonna sacrifice that's for some early game absolution. There we go. My HP is now a lot higher than other classes level ones, which are ten. So I'll do just fine. He uh, I can actually just do this because why not? I have twenty one, so it's more than double. So the problem I had is no more. Okay, for humility to work, then I need to hit level 2 before using it, so I can't do the high level 5 at level 1. It needs to be at level 2. And, um, okay, poison is nice because that allows me to get piety from this too. A glowing guardian. And I don't have any resistances except for just a 4 of magic, and that's fine. I can attack him 3 times. I can't attack it. Yes, I can. Okay, so if I do this, then I'm gonna level up. Okay. Alright. So, finding a high level enemy to do this against. Four, and he turns into a level five, and I turn into level one. That's a four level gap. It's not nearly enough. I didn't pick up this before I level up and that's sort of 
one level when you kill them and they revive the cultists. Alright, I am... can be a bandit. Curses don't really do anything to me at this point. Okay, this is another way to survive some heavy hitters. Okay. Okay, so if I just do this now, just increase my damage, so it counts as well as getting some more of this. You need to have enough of this as well, so I can just keep that in mind. I need to get fifteen. Okay. I can be close to leveling up, so I can kill undeads to make him happy. As long as I don't level up, we're fine. Just my experience. I mean, uh, piety bar is enough. If I keep killing undeads, it's gonna be enough. Don't want to use my resistance just yet because it's gonna be. I can't use him multiple times because he's gonna curse me and every single hit. But I have one more HP than I can tank it without question. Essentially, that works. I can just convert something to to get more piety from him. I might not even need the. Yeah, it's just 20 could help out immensely with the fighting when I go about doing. Yeah, I don't want to sacrifice the goats down there because that kills all the enemies and makes them raped and whatever. <sighs> Okay, let's just, um, please, Mr. Glowing God of the End, increase my damage like that. Okay, let's increase somewhat more. Almost tank to hit. Two hits and a third one is easy because first strike, but four strikes seems a bit hard. So how to pull off that? Well, get enough damage to make it possible in three hits. Is a way that means finding, picking up this, and that's not enough. <laughs> Could potentially use this as well as this, but that means needing 25 piety. Okay, now I hit the max limit. It works, you know, it works. I had 12 mana, I would allow two casts of this instead of having to heal in between, which is gonna make this guy just heal way too much for me to do like. I'm gonna use this and I'm no, it's still mm -hmm. Also would have helped out a lot. Okay, I wouldn't need this, so just not really worth it, but you know. I've got enough humility right now. Enough for humility, and I'm really close to taking him out in three heads. So, um. 
can't type two hits without using any form in between. Probably need to use two of it, not just one. And then I need one more mana or something. This would have been great. Need two more gold. I'm gonna explore just a ton. Just, it's just an experiment. Okay, there we go. Fair enough. Let's see here. And there's biceps as well, which is bloody perfect. Use it. Alright. Here we go. This is the test. This is this what we've been waiting for. I can pick up this as well, actually. Let's just Go ahead and do that. Attack. And I. Did I just dodge him as well? Just to make it even more ridiculous? <laughs> That's really anticlimactic now. Okay. Um, that sort of makes me want to go for the level 8 instead of level 7 because. That's just ridiculous. Right? Right. So can I tank a single hit? Oh, no, he, he wields a 32. Uh, this is easy. He wields 57, which is not easy at all. So maybe I shouldn't just go for this guy. So... It's not... It's just going to be an 8 level difference. How much damage does these guys deal? If I. Yeah, but it's not gonna be a level 9 and anyway, I'm a level 8. It's 4 hits again, that doesn't work. Okay, let's just be satisfied with this. So, we could guitar. And humility and. Biceps. So I'm gonna get so that's 52 experience from one kill. Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. And then it's just about sort of killing high level enemies even more, I guess. I could tank this if I do this a few times. Okay, nope, I can't because I'm cursed. So why? How about now? I can even tank it straight off a bat here. Um, can't use your notes again though, that kind of sucks. Better close killing him in one hit. Alright, it worked. And. Yeah, okay, because he used to be tall, he turned into a level 10. But then again, the zombie inside of him is still the same level that he initially was interesting hmm. uh, I wouldn't get a little lines you know what's so um I, I can't tell now which which ones of these enemies I like, have already used wicked on okay they have actually a spec for it so is there anyone level eight this guy, he's gonna turn into a level 9. So, okay, this is actually a hidden place. I can't 
tell if you're risking out. He has 88 HP now, and I do this, then he has 105 78, so, you know, not a problem, but it does increase the HP somewhat, the current HP, guys. Is there anyone else? Let's do this guy, then. You can find another non wicked guitar dude. Look at that sick, I guess it's called. That seems to be this one I've got to work with. So let me just do this and kill them all. This is probably just level 6 inside of them, yeah. Alright. I can't tank a single hit, and he's doing magical damage, so I can't increase it by using it as well. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yes. Dodging is fun. And I forgot about that. So now, okay, it worked. Yeah, the roll is kind of ridiculous if you know what you're doing. I like how these guys revive and don't they don't have death protections because that means the first strike at the end counts instead of not doing anything. So appreciate that. Makes it so easy for the rogue here on this particular level boss. Beast everything down, don't need specifics of items or anything. But what if I haven't damaged him then? So I might as well just go for this guy. And um, take away a curses. Physical damage is what this guy is doing, and I'm gonna lose my mana here, so might as well stand here. Oh yeah, right. I see some interesting opportunities. Um, probably not gonna level up from the monster here. Could, if this guy's level 9, I could potentially, but let's just fuck that and do this. Oh, yeah. I thought it was gonna give me a level up, but that's Yahora. That's kind of a big bad mistake, huh? Not the end of the world, though. Oops, shit, shit, a lot of the end of the world, though. There it is. That's pretty much the hardest punishment that I could ever have gotten. Hoping to level up here and. That's about it, to be honest. Okay, healing him up, motherfucker, and he's full HP, and... Yeah, not gonna work. Well, I could potentially do some funky things. Like, uh, I don't know.
what this run was all about. Um, so about the experiment, not actually being done, you know. It doesn't really matter all that much, but it would be fun to sort of pull this off anyway. He's an undead, so that, this doesn't work. Uh, this could work, but it's a bit too far off for me to like. To, to. I might as well use this because I don't have any, any anyway, but I'm gonna heal up just enough for him to almost. But not really kill me. Like that. And then. Use it. Attack him again. Death of this. less. Don't have any possessions anyway. It's pretty close. But it doesn't help being close, does it? Nothing more to just desecrate, nothing more to. There's something to kill, and that's just enough to use it. And. Not enough gold, is it? Nope, there's not. Can't use this. I can't explore and hope to dodge, and I did, and I won. All right. So I guess I salvaged a pretty messed up run. Anyhow, the experiment was the the, the, the main thing here, which was about Golden Guardian and Wicked Guitar, and pick a high level fight, and use humility and Wicked Guitar at the same time. If you do it or below, then getting absolution is going to help you tank height two. Apart from that, use whatever you can to tank it, be it end as well, be it sidestep. Um, yes, things like that. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you around. Bye.